Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing probably one of the most iconic pairs of Ray-Ban sunglasses ever, the Ray-Ban Outdoorsman. Now, the model number of these is RB3030, and as you guys can see, they have a very iconic brow bar or sweat bar here up top. These sunglasses are based on the traditional Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses, but they have the additional brow bar or sweat bar here at the top, and they also feature these cable ear rests, which wrap around the ear, helping these sunglasses stick on your face. As of filming this video, this pair of sunglasses only comes in one size, so let's pop these sunglasses on face and talk about that size. These sunglasses have 58 millimeter lenses and a 14 millimeter bridge, but Ray-Ban actually does produce a pair of sunglasses that are extremely similar to these, but with bigger lenses. They're called the Outdoorsman Number no. 2. Those have 62 millimeter lenses. Of course, these sunglasses have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the sunglasses. And if we move over to the middle of the lens, we can see an etched RB logo for authentication purposes. And since 2019, these sunglasses have actually had an etching here on the top bar for authentication purposes. They say Ray-Ban made in Italy. And if we take a look here at the bottom of that temple, they actually say Ray-Ban. And then they say 5814, which stands of course for the lens size and the bridge width of the sunglasses. Now, if you guys take a look at the whole profile of these glasses, you can definitely tell that they have a lot of roots in the traditional classic aviator sunglasses But having this sweat bar or brow bar here up top really does transform this pair of sunglasses and turn it into something that looks very different than your traditional classic aviator sunglasses. Now this bar does make contact with the face and what this does is it actually pushes these sunglasses back further away from your face and that actually gives these sunglasses worse coverage from the sun. So as you guys can see here, there is a pretty big gap to sunlight even protected here up top even with the sunglasses pushed all the way forward to my face. And then here on the sides, again, we do have a decently sized gap to sunlight in unprotected. So not going to be quite as practical as a pair of Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering what's the point of the brow bar if they're just going to give worse coverage from sun. The point is the brow bar is actually going to protect your sunglass lenses from your sweat. Sometimes the lens on a traditional pair of aviator sunglasses actually makes contact with your eyebrows or up here on your face. And when the sunglasses make contact with your face, the sweat can actually drip down the lenses and actually impede your vision and make the lenses all smudgy and it's really hard to get off even with a microfiber cleaning cloth and just a real pain in the neck. Where on this pair, they sit up front and that keeps the sunglass lenses clean of sweat and nice and clear. The original Ray-Ban aviators came first, but then pilots and outdoors enthusiasts started complaining about having these issues. So Ray-Ban solution was the Ray-Ban outdoorsman. Now keep in mind, these sunglasses were about 40 years before Oakley even existed or sports sunglasses existed. So this was your best option for outdoors and sports enthusiasts. Now, another thing that makes these sunglasses extremely practical are the cable temples. So as you guys can clearly see, these temples are very different than a pair of traditional Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses. They have these flexible temples that turn Turn from metal about right here to plastic and wire and here we can see they have a little bit of bend to it so you take these sunglasses and you wrap the ear rest around your ear the temple around your ear and it's going to sit on your face very well so I'm going to demonstrate this right now by kind of moving my head around really fast uh, and as you guys can see they need to fall off and I can actually pull on them like this and as you guys can see they're still not falling off my face however these cable temples are definitely not the most comfortable ever after wearing the sunglasses for a long period of time they kind of dig in behind the ear but after you wear these sunglasses for days and days and days they actually start to fit your ear a little bit better and they're going to become a little bit more comfortable but in my opinion they're still not nearly as comfortable as the ear rests on a traditional classic pair of Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses as far as lenses go these sunglasses feature Ray-Ban's G15 lenses which are Ray-Ban's classic lenses for their Ray-Ban aviator style these are crystal lenses so they are all glass lenses so the optical clarity of these is very very good and they do offer 100% UVA and UV VB protection. Overall, I really do like this pair of sunglasses. They have that retro, very old school vibe to them, and I really do like the look of the sunglasses on face. And as far as pricing and availability goes, the sunglasses are going to run you around $150 directly from Ray-Ban's website. However, I recommend checking these out on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below where you guys can check these sunglasses out on Amazon. You should be able to save about $20 by picking them up there. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below, and of course, make sure that subscribe button and then be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to this YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.